Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to talk about a new model called Blip. So in my previous video, I have talked about a model called Blip, which has been useful for extracting the uh, objects from a particular image by text prompting. So if you haven't watched that particular video, you can go on to my YouTube channel and just you can click on the reset video that I have uploaded on the YouTube and you can just go and understand how that thing works. So similar to that Blip model, uh, which was based on text prompting and it, it was able to extract the objects from the particular image and, and it was able to annotate that particular object on that particular image, right? So this particular blip model will be useful in a similar way. Like you have to, you can use it for visual question answering. You can also use, use it for the uh, image captioning. You can also use it for image and text matching. So you can use it for various tasks uh, by using a text prompt. So it is very similar to uh, the things that we are, we are seeing uh, these days right now and we can eventually be moving towards a text prompt uh, generation and understanding uh, of the of those kind of model which are able to understand the text and the image together right. So this is one of the model that can help you to extract the questions or answers from a particular image and then uh, you can also use it for image captioning. You can also use it for uh, text and image matching. So there are various uh, applications that are built based on these kind of models. So we're going to look on to the application of this particular blip model as well. And uh, before we move into the uh, implementation of this particular model, let us walk through this particular GitHub. And this blip model has been developed by the Salesforce team. And you can go over the GitHub repo. And you can understand the different perspective of that particular model. You can also go into the papers that they have discussed it's a pretty much very good application and they were talking about and uh, how they are able to scale up and understand the text and image together uh, it's a pretty much good architecture that you can understand it's a uh, state of the art uh, model that they have claimed and then you can also go and install the dependencies as they have discussed on this particular data repo they have trained this particular model on uh, 14 million data set and also one to 129 million images so that's a very huge data set that they have taken up and they have trained the model with such capabilities of uh, targeting such kind of applications right so that's a very good model uh, to proceed and understand the things out uh, with respect to the image and the text so you can see on their uh, github they, can, they are able to um, say that it can be used for the image text captioning and it can be also used for the visual question answering and it can also be used for uh, image text matching so we're going to see all those things in our uh, this particular video so let's not waste our time and let's jump to the demo part of this particular blip model so in this particular uh, demo i'm going to showcase the blip model inferencing so right now we are not fine tuning the blip model we are just going to take up the uh, blip model which was trained already and we are going to use it on the images and we are going to use it for different kind of applications like as you can see uh, on the image captioning part also on the uh, visual question answering and also we are going to extract the features of the images in the text uh, from this particular models and we are going to also test that particular image in the text uh, matching also right so this is what we are going to do in this particular video so uh, regarding that I have installed all these dependencies so uh, you're gonna you don't you're gonna have to install all these dependencies on your uh, collab or you can use it on your local and then you're gonna take some time for you to install it and then once that dependencies are installed and then you can use this kind of functions to load up your image and transform into the the recommended size that has been provided by the blip and once you're set up with this kind of functions now you can start loading up your model and then you can start passing the images and the text uh, to the model right so we are going to use this particular image uh, for our image question answering and image captioning so this is the image that we are going to use this for our whole tutorial so this is the image that we are going to pass and then in the image captioning uh, model that is blip model we are going to ask to caption this particular image right so once i load up this model from the model.blip so once you install these dependencies, right, you're going to uh, actually copy the, the uh, blip uh, repo that I have shown, right. So from this blip repo, they are going to take up this uh, uh, model and then they're going to load up this particular model and download it uh, through the API. And then from that particular model, you're going to load up the blip decoder 
and then you're gonna pass an image size that you want to uh, use it for the blip and then you're gonna load up the images and then after that you have to just load up the model and then start passing this particular image to caption the particular image right so this is what you want to do in this particular cell so let's just run this and let's just see how this particular blip model is able to caption this particular image so as you can see it has captioned this particular image uh, which says that a woman and her dog on the beach you can see it's pretty much doing good on this particular image right since it has been trained on huge data set or huge image and text corpus uh, so it is able to understand the image and a text portion very easily and hence it is able to do this image captioning part in in a very good understanding or in a very good contextual manner right so this is what the capability of this particular blip model is and then we can also use this particular model for visual question answering so what is what does that mean so let's say i have given this particular image i want to question this particular image so let's say what does this uh, woman is doing what is the color of this particular dog what is woman wearing what is the color of that particular woman uh, pant so there are different questions that can a question right for a particular image so that's what the visual question answering means so given this particular model you can also use this particular model for visual question answering so with this particular image i'm going to pass this particular image to the model and also ask uh, the question where is the woman sitting right so let me just uh, run this particular cell and let us see how the results are co coming out so it should be the answer should be uh, the beach uh, let's see how the model gets the this particular answer right so now it's you can see it has started downloading the model so it will take few seconds to download and once it has downloaded the model for uh, for visual question answering then uh, it can be used for the inferencing so let's wait for it so once the model has been downloaded you can see that it has created an answer that on beach so you can see that where the woman is sitting i've questioned this particular image and the model has written what the answer for this particular image right i can also change the question like uh, what is the uh, what is the color of dog right so we can just question this and let's rerun this particular cell so that we, it can give this answer for it so it might take few seconds to give you an answer back so you can see it has printed the answer tan which is pretty good like you can see this, uh, this particular dog is of kind of beige or, or tan color so you can see the, the model is able to understand the uh, the question and also it is able to decode the answer from the image uh, with the color name tan right so this is the capability of a blip model uh, with respect to the visual question answering now let's move to the feature extraction so let's suppose you want to extract uh, the image embeddings and the text uh, which actually relates each other right so you can use this blip model as well so you can use this particular image and a caption so let's suppose a woman is sitting on the beach with a dog so you can you can pass those things to together uh, image and the text together and you can pass this things together to the model and you're going to get this uh, feature image and text image features uh, for this particular image and a text right so this is the capability of uh, a blip model you can use this embeddings and you can train another model for your downstream task so i'm not going to run for this particular cell but you can do it uh, to extract the image embeddings and text embedding that are related to each other right now the next uh, task comes in is uh, image text matching so let's suppose uh, you have an image uh, which is this image and you want to understand uh, the caption given for this particular image are related to each other or not so let's suppose uh, i give a caption like the woman is sitting on the beach with a dog and this image so whether this uh, text or this caption is actually uh, a caption of this particular image or not so this is what we are, we are going to target in this particular image text matching so image text matching gives us the probability of closeness of image and text together right so this is what uh, this particular model will help us to do so it's going to help us uh, to compare this particular image and text or the relation between the text and image so uh, with respect to the same thing we're going to load up the model and we're going to pass this particular uh, caption that was being generated by the model and then we're going to pass the image and then we're going to understand the output that's the probability of the text uh, and the image related to each other right so let's run this particular set and see uh, how the probability comes up
okay so you can see uh, the model has predicted the uh, that probability of image and text uh, matching is 0.99 and also the cosine similarity between the text and the image embeddings so this is this is what you can do with this particular model um, so these are various tasks that you can that you can perform with by using this particular model uh, blip and uh, you can use this in your uh, various applications uh, where it, whether it is related to any kind of uh, uh, visual question answering application that you want to build up or if you if you don't have any kind of label data and then you want to use this uh, particular model to label your data so let's suppose if you want to extract the color of a particular t-shirt that woman is wearing this particular image so you might not be having the uh, answer for this or you might not be having any label for this particular t-shirt or the particular image but you can use this kind of model to extract the uh, labels for your particular image and and then you can have a label data and then you can use it to train your own uh, custom model over that right so this is the way that you can uh, use this particular models uh, which is prompt based models to understand and to label or to help you on labeling the data or even you can use it to generate the new new kind of text or new kind of image caption task uh, that you want to build up and then you can use it for your supervised learning way right so these models are very useful in real time scenarios and uh, it can help you to escalate your uh, model training and model labeling uh, process very very fast right so i hope you enjoyed this particular video so if you like my efforts do support my channel uh, thank you